guys, Joseph Rackett here from josephrackett.com. Now I'm going to take you through one of my back workouts. I'm live streaming this, so I'm live streaming from my Facebook page right now, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm also doing YouTube. Now I'm not YouTube live streaming because last time we did that, um, it kind of looked like it was formed off a calculator. <laughs> it was really pixelated, but I am filming this for YouTube as well, and then I'm just going to re-upload it after this workout. Uh, but for everyone watching live, you guys feel free to ask any questions you have on training, nutrition, and supplementation. And while I'm training my back, I'll answer your questions. Tyrell will ask the questions for me, and I'll respond to you guys. First exercise that I'm doing for back today, we're going to be doing close grip lat pull down. Now the reason I'm doing a close grip pull down is so I can keep my elbows in front of my body. When my elbows are in front of my body, that allows me to activate the lat entirely. And you can pull from the lower lat insertion. Um, so it's a great exercise for really working the lower part of the lat. One of my favorite. I'm then supersetting that with behind the back, um, behind the head, sorry, pull downs. Now that is a great exercise for working the middle and lower traps, so the middle area of the back. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm using a close grip. Superset, so we're standing on it reverse. We're going to be using a wide grip here. We're pulling the bar down behind our head. If there are any questions you guys have, ask them now, and Tyra will read them to me. How can I widen my upper body frame? That's a really effective upper... exercise for that. How from can you Chris. widen your upper body? Um, it will come down a little bit to genetics, but um, if you have wider lats, so more lat work, pull ups, pull downs, um, barbell rows, deadlifts, that will build your lats. Secondly, you want to have wide shoulders. So you really want to focus on working your lateral deltoids, which is the side part of the shoulder. Um, so exercises like upright rows, lateral raises. Um, and even shoulder press will pull the lateral deltoid of your shoulder, which will give you the wide, the wide effect. So notice this one, guys. My elbows are staying in front of my body. Would you advise me to take creatine when I'm only 16? Yes, creatine is perfectly fine to take when you're 16 years of age. Creatine is found in food like your meat, uh, your red meat especially. Now creatine is not needed, but it is very beneficial for strength, muscle gain and health and fatigue. I take creatine and I recommend you do too. Does cardio after weightlifting prevent soreness? From no. Stretching after your workout though will prevent muscle soreness. So we're doing um, we're doing five sets on this guys, but you've I've done two before I started this live stream. So five sets in total for this. The rep range is anywhere from 10 to 20. Um, each time I'm increasing in weight and as the weight increases the rep decrease. During leg workouts, I have a pain in my knees. Any suggestions? Um, depends what is causing that pain. What I would advise is go see a physio and get it checked out um, in person and then get their recommendations. <clears throat> Will you ever compete in bodybuilding? No. Um, well, I don't have any plans to compete. Maybe one day, who knows, but at this point in time, I don't have any future plans to compete and I probably never will. I just love lifting weights. <laughs> what are your thoughts on hybrid training? Honestly, I believe the best type of training is a variety of things. So 
do your strength training, do your hypertrophy training, um, always mix it up. Muscles respond best to change. So I say a variety of stuff is the best way to go. So have a look at this one from behind there, Tyrell. And everyone watching the live stream, you better watch if my back comes and pulls the weight down. It is the middle and lower traps that really pull the weight down. Is it okay for women to take creatine? Yes, it's perfectly fine for women to take creatine, um, and it is a supplement that I would advise women to take. It helps with strength. Now, creatine, a lot of people say creatine holds water, which is true. However, people think that it makes them smooth, which is not true. Creatine holds water in the muscle cell, not around it. So if anything, it gives you the appearance of more muscle fullness, which, if you're at low, low body fat, will give you more definition. When is it best to work traps, on shoulder day or on back day? Honestly, traps can be worked on either of those days. I've done it on back day and I've done it on shoulder day, but the majority of the time I do it on my shoulder day because back is such a big muscle, um, I usually leave it for shoulder day. Joseph, give us your Scottish accent. <laughs> Fuck, I can't do a Scottish accent, eh? <laughs> Don't even know how it sounds like. <laughs> Probably sound like something else. Alright guys, so uh, second exercise that we're doing, or kind of third, um, we're doing seated rows. Now this exercise here, most people always talk to go like this, keep strict form, you just pull like this. Honestly, when I do that, you feel like you're just working your biceps only. I like to train um, by going right the way forward, stretching the lats out completely, pulling it right the way back, and then overextending a little bit. A lot of the old school bodybuilders like Arnold all train this this way. You can just get so much more back activation when you do it like this. So I say go right the way forward, stretch your lats, and get a little bit of an overextend to get that better contraction. I believe strict form on this is just your biceps, man. So I'll give you guys an example of what I mean. Instead of going like this, go right the way forward, right the way back. I'm okay with losing weight, but I can never lose fat from my stomach. I've started taking fat burner, is this okay to go? Yes, fat burner is okay to use. And any tips for losing fat on the stomach? First off guys, you cannot spot reduce your body fat. So when you lose your body fat, you're gonna lose it from all over your body. Now the only way to lose body fat is you must be in a calorie deficit. That means consuming less calories than what you burn on a day-to-day -day basis. So say for example, you burn 3,000 calories on a day-to-day -day basis average. This is just an example, guys. Everyone's gonna be different. Um, if you did consume less than that, then you'll be in a calorie deficit, therefore, your body's gonna to have to get energy from somewhere else, which is your body fat. Now, everyone's got different stubborn areas and your lower stomach may be the last area to come off, but you just have to keep grinding and eventually you'll get there. Also, if anyone needs help with a um, personalized meal plan and workout program, yeah, I got that title. If anyone needs help with a personalized meal plan and workout program to build muscle or lose body fat, um, just feel free to join my 12 transformation program right now um, for the 4th of July sale. I have a massive promotion going on right now, so if you join my program today, you'll get meal plans, workout programs, ab workouts, 24-7 customer support, um, a free supplement guide, um, extreme fat burning cardio routines from the best and most effective cardio that you can perform to burn maximum amounts of fat, 
Um, you'll also get access to a secret private Facebook group. Um, plus, the promotion that I'm running right now is if you join today, you will also be receiving a full EHP Labs supplement stack. Um, and that is included for every single person that joins my 12-week transmission program today. So if you're watching on YouTube, the link is in the description below. If you're on Instagram, the link's in my bio. And if you're on Facebook, the link is above the video. My calves are very weak. I'm training them every day and they won't grow. Any what suggestions? What you have to realize is calves or muscles don't grow in the gym. Muscles grow when you're resting and recovering. So if you're training your calves every day and they're not growing, maybe try to do it just twice or three times per week. But when you do train them, absolutely smash them. I have a great calf workout that I just posted on my Snapchat. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, um, just add me, Joseph underscore Rakic. Literally 10 minutes ago before this live stream, I put a calf workout up. So go give that a go. All right, second, second set. <laughs> What's your next meal? My next meal is 300 grams of chicken and 300 grams of sweet potato. Any recommendations on a snack to cut the cravings while cutting? Uh, frozen fruit. Honestly, um, what I used to do is get a bunch of strawberries, like 30 strawberries, put them in a container, put them in the freezer, let it freeze, and then eat that as a snack. Super low in calories, and it will, it'll, it'll help with any cravings you guys get. Also, one more thing that I want to announce. Um, Every single month I choose someone from anywhere in the world. I fly them here to New Zealand, um, you know, for a couple days, whether it be four days or whatever. All accommodation paid for, all food paid for. I will put you in a hotel and I take you on a four day training camp. Um, so the last person who won was, where was he from? Where was Isaac from? Texas. Yep. Uh, so Isaac won it last time, he's from Texas. He hasn't made his um, flight here to New Zealand yet, but when he gets time off work, he will be coming. Um, and I'm going to be announcing the winner for the month just gone within the next couple of days. That is open to all my clients, so you still got a few days to join my program. And if you sign up, you will be in the draw to win that free trip here to New Zealand to come and train with me. All this information is on my website, by the way, guys. So if you want more info, visit my website, everything's there. Can you do cardio two hours before working out? Yes. And if yes, what should I have to eat in between? Yes, you can, but I probably wouldn't advise it because you might drain a little bit of your energy for the weights. But it depends on what your schedule is like. And if that's the only time you can do cardio, that's no problem. Just what you'd want to do is after your cardio and before your weights, make sure you get a good protein and carb meal in. You know, you want to um, replenish your glycogen stores, which is basically the energy in your muscles. So have a big carb meal after your cardio so you've still got enough um, energy in there for the weights. All right, third set. Right the way forward, stretch, contract, come on. I'm gonna do one more set here, guys. Um, I'm gonna drop set this one. For those, of you, yeah. For those of you that don't know what a drop set is, it's you're doing a set on whatever amount of weight. You go to failure, then lighten it, and then lighten it, and then lighten it. What is the best supplement for bulking? Best supplement for bulking? Depends. I would say protein, but you don't have to use protein. You can get enough protein from your diet. So if we're not including protein in this question, I would say creatine monohydrate without a doubt. How many days a week do you train? <laughs> How many days a week do you train? I train six days a week um, with one rest day. It's usually a Sunday, but whatever day I feel like. Does my cardio have to be vigorous or can I just walk for an hour uphill? Any type of cardio is fine. 
better than sitting on the couch, you know? So walking up a hill is still good, and you're still burning calories. The more calories you burn, the more of a calorie deficit you may be in, the bigger calorie deficit you're in, the more body fat you're gonna lose. Creatine when cutting, okay? Yes, creatine, definitely when cutting. Um, search my name up on YouTube, guys. Just go Joseph Rakic Creatine. I've got a good video up there um, that explains everything that you need to know about creatine. Should you take creatine when cutting? Um, the video is up there right now. I posted it about a week ago. Um, very good video, a lot of information in there, so search it up on YouTube. What do you recommend for shin splints? what is causing your shin splints. If it's you get shin splints and you're doing cardio, maybe change your cardio. So instead of doing something on the treadmill, maybe go to a cross trainer and that may help with um, your shin splints. Also, it may be the shoes that you're wearing. Next exercise, we're gonna do. Do you train each body part once or twice a week? Uh, I've always mixed it up. Right now, I'm training everything once a week. Abs and calves are twice a week. But in the past, I've trained everything once a week. I've trained everything twice a week. I've also trained everything three times per week. Braxton says hi. Who? Braxton. What's up, Braxton? How do you find your macro and calorie intake? Um, basically a quick way to do this is just go to Google, type in TDEE calculator, which is Total Daily Energy Expenditure Calculator. Type in your stats, like your height, weight, age, gender, all of that information. And then it's going to give you a rough estimation. It's not exact, but it's only an estimation. Do you recommend It'll be a rough estimation of your calorie intake that you need. Um, once you know how much calories you need for your goals, then you want to work out your macro split. Now the macro recommendations that I personally have is one gram of protein per pound of your lean body weight, 0.4 grams of fat per pound of your lean body weight. <coughs> Fat's important for hormone regulation, brain function, testosterone production. And then I advise filling the rest of your calories up with more protein, more fat, or more carbs. Majority of those other calories coming from carbohydrates, as they are your body's best source of energy. For a more detailed explanation of this, search Joseph Rakic up on YouTube. <laughs> Just search Joseph Rakic macros. I have a video up there that explains everything, how to calculate macros, and what's a perfect macronutrient split for you and your goals. All that information is covered. All right, this exercise here now, I'm doing reverse cable flies. Another great exercise for working the middle and lower traps. You want to grab opposite handles. Do you recommend starting with a high weight going light or light weight going high? Uh, it's always good to mix it up, but if I had to choose one, I would say a light weight going high. Reason being because sometimes it takes a little bit for your muscles to get warmed up. Secondly, it's also safer for injury prevention. If you go straight into a heavy weight and your muscles are cold, you could get muscle tear. Yesterday, guys, well not yesterday, Friday, I trained a few mates, we were doing chest, and I actually thought I'd pull my bicep. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see it, Carl? Does it look weird or no? I can't see anything. It was all red and swollen yesterday. I thought I'd pull my bicep. There was no pain or anything. Um, no pain, no. I'm not trying to be Mr. Tough Guy, <laughs> like, there was just no pain, like if my mum had that happen to her, she wouldn't be in pain. Um, so that was a good thing, like, it kind of made me a little bit more comfortable that it wasn't something dangerous that had happened to my arm, but something not right, <laughs> you know, I'm in there. Getting I don't a think it's a muscle tear, maybe just a rupture or something. Getting a lot of questions on how long is a good time to work out. How long is a good time to work out? It varies, but I would say between an hour and they're between 45 minutes and an hour and a half. My workouts are usually about an hour long, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. 
If it's too long, your intensity is down. If it's too short, you don't get enough volume. All right, do you want to go behind on this one, Tony, and just see how that works? So this one's really important, guys. You try. You don't want to bend your arms too much like this. Try to focus on keeping your arms straight. And this is the middle of your back. What is the best way to gain muscle while shredding? Best way to gain muscle while shredding. Keep your protein intake high. Um, be very efficient with whatever you do. Obviously when you're cutting, you're low on calories, you're in a calorie deficit. So it is a lot harder to gain muscle. Plus, you're not moving as heavy weight as you used to in the gym. So really focus on form and focus on that time under tension. Muscle grows from progressive overload. So if you can progress in one way or another that you were not doing when you're bulking, that is the best and most efficient way to gain muscle when in a deficit. Best exercise for hamstrings. Best exercise for hamstrings. Either stiff leg deadlifts or lying leg curls, which is that machine right there. Um, when you're doing the lying leg curl, I believe it is one of the best exercises for the hamstring because you can get such a good squeeze and contraction. And I believe a lot of muscle growth happens from that squeeze and contraction rather than that time and detention. So last exercise now, fall back, we're going to go to assisted pull-ups. Now, assisted pull-ups is just the same as a normal pull-up, except you're assisted. Now, when you're assisted, you can focus a lot more on working the back muscles and making the back muscles do the exercise. So when you're doing body weight, sure it's good because you're using a lot more weight. However, you end up just pulling your body up, rather focusing on getting your body up above the bar. Where assisted, you can really focus on contracting the back muscles. It's often an exercise I like to finish on. Best workout split when looking to lose body fat and get shredded. Best workout split is train everything once per week at high volume. So chest one day, back another day, legs, arms, shoulders, um, split it all up and then do your cardio as well. Consistency is the biggest key. Consistency doing the right thing I guess. So you must be in a calorie deficit. Best exercise for rare doubts. Best exercise for rare doubts. Honestly, my rare doubts grow like crazy, and I believe that is because of when I train back, a lot of the exercises that I do are with a flared elbow. So if you're doing um, a barbell row, I mean a dumbbell row, sorry, and you've got your elbow in close to your side, you'll be working a lot of your lat. As soon as you flare your elbow out like this, you end up pulling with your rear doubt. So try barbell, oh, sorry, try dumbbell rows with a flared out elbow. That'll put so much more stress on your rear delt, however it will take away some of the emphasis from your lats. Other good exercises for the rear delts are face pulls. So you pull the, put the weight on the table, and pull the weight to your face there, elbows up, that's another good exercise for your rear delts. All right, so assisted pull ups, we're gonna be using a wide grip on this. Is 20 minutes of less cardio enough to lose fat? Yep, it's better than nothing. Advice to train safely after a hernia, hernia surgery. Nothing heavy, so no heavy squats, no heavy deadlifts, or even bench press, you know? Anything where you're doing max effort, um, you could probably easily bust your hernia again. 
So keep it to isolation. Obviously you want to get advice from your doctor as well. Listen to them before you listen to me. <laughs> but those would be my recommendations. No heavy squats and no heavy deadlifts. Any workout to help fix your posture? To fix your posture? I've actually got a good YouTube video on this. I've got a YouTube video on everything, man. <laughs> if you want to know anything, just search my name up on YouTube and you'll find a video there somewhere. But a good, a good way to prevent your posture, I'm not sure what your posture problems is, but I'm guessing it's hunched over like this. This is from just day-to-day -day work, you know, always working your front delts on the computer, um, your chest. So the best way to prevent that is stretch your chest out, stretch your, your front deltoids out, and work your back muscles. Wait, how do you type? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I type. Um, so, whenever you're typing or cooking in the kitchen, whatever you're doing, you're always using your front muscles. So these become all tight. So your posture ends up like this. <laughs> so what you want to do, stretch your chest, stretch your shoulders, always stretch these muscles out. And you want to work your back muscles. So, you know, barbell rows, reverse slide, but don't stretch your back muscles out at all. What that's going to do is going to loosen up all of this and it's going to tighten up all your back muscles. So instead of having a posture like this, it's going to be more like this. So a lot of back work and don't stretch your back out. Stretch your chest out. <laughs> can I do heavy lifting on an empty stomach? Yes you can. However, you probably won't have that same energy reserve in you to get the best lifts. Um, but yeah, there's no reason you can't. What is the most important factor when performing a lift? Contraction, stretch, volume, or form? Uh, all. Sometimes you really want to focus on the form just to put that muscle under full isolation. For example, a bicep curl. Nice controlled stretch. Then you also want to focus on the weight. Sometimes when you use a heavy weight, there is a little bit of swing and a little bit of momentum. Now that doesn't have the same isolation effect on the muscle, but you can overload the muscle with more weight than what you could if you can give you complete strict form. I would say form is always most important. Um, contraction, squeeze, and then time under tension, and then weight overload. Shout but, out to Seth Lord. What up, Seth Lord? I haven't seen you a long time, bro. Where you been? Stop by the office someday. Anyway, guys, one more set on this, and that's gonna be the end of my back workout. So any more questions you have, Buy them through now. And there you go guys, that is the end of my back workout dump for today. I'm going to answer two more of you guys' questions, um, so fire them through right now. Uh, please ask him how many kilos did he start when he started shredding? When I started shredding? When you first started I guess. Um, when I first started the gym, I was 17 years, 17 years old I think. Um, I started at 61 kgs and I'm now about 91, 92 kgs. So I gained a little bit of muscle. <laughs> I was just skin and bones when I started, eh? Alright, one more question. Best exercise for a Donner's belt? Best exercise for a Donner's belt. Believe it or not, I have a YouTube video exactly on this. Um, just search Joseph Rakic V Cuts, um, and it's a good video there. But I'll give you a quick explanation. The Donner's belt is created by the TVA, which is your transverse abdominus muscle, which is a deep core muscle inside the stomach, um, underneath, the, underneath the obliques. Now, the adenus belt or the V-cut lines is caused by a ligament. Now hypertrophy, which is increased muscle cell size in the TVA, transverse abdominus muscle, is what creates this line, presuming you have low body fat. <coughs> so exercises that build the TVA muscle are planks, stomach vacuums, uh, it's used in a stabilizer in squats and deadlifts, um, 
giving birth <laughs> and when you're on the toilet, you know, going number twos. Um, that is when the TBA is contracted. So planks, stomach vacuums are your key exercises. Do that every second day and you're gonna build your TBA muscle. Lower your body fat um, and then the TBA muscle is gonna be more visible and you're gonna have good V-cut lines. For a better explanation um, and more exercise than this, like I just said, search my name up on YouTube, Joseph Rakic V-cuts. The video is up there, explains it in full detail. You won't be disappointed. Anyway, guys, that is the end. What's that? Promo. Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of my live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a few things. Before I sign off, um, just a reminder, right now, today, I am running a massive promotion in my 12-week transformation program. So if you join up, you sign up today, you're going to get 12 weeks worth of personalized, monthly updated of meal plans, monthly updated of workout programs, extreme ab workouts, extreme fat burning cardio routines of the best and most effective cardio to burn the maximum amount of fat, all backed up by science. Um, you're going to get my free supplement guide. You're going to get 24-7 customer support from me and my experienced team. You're going to get access to the JRF secret private Facebook group. Um, I also have a 100% money back guarantee if you're not happy and you don't see any results. That's how confident I am in my plans and programs. Plus, if you join today, the promotion right now is you're also going to receive a full EHP Labs supplement stack. Um, there's so much included in this, guys. Go to my website. Link is above this video right now. Um, everything explained in full detail and what the supplement, is, uh, what the supplement stack includes. Um, so that's available for today, the 4th of July special. Go check it out. And also don't forget, if you sign up, you're going to be in the draw to win a free trip here to New Zealand. Um, for four days to come train with me, all accommodation, all food, all flights, everything paid for. We'll be announcing that winner in a couple of days' time. So 